Hey everyone, Chris here, back in Mist Survival. So I did some research online, and apparently you could find survivors at those bandit camps. But so far, the only bandit camp I know of was the one we raided last time, which I think was like right over here or something like that. And I looked through there pretty thoroughly, and I didn't see anyone there. So there definitely has to be another bandit camp or two somewhere else. I think I remember seeing one somewhere on these hills too, or maybe over here. But then the other issue is I don't think I have the firepower to take down another bandit camp. Like I only have one bullet here, I have 12 revolver shots and a molotov and two grenades. Yeah, so we definitely need to find some ammo. Kind of thinking of making my way down to one of these areas. I'm just kind of worried that they might be like the housing estate where it's just completely empty, but eh, it might be worth checking out. So yeah, let's head over there. Hopefully the bandits haven't respawned, but we'll see. Okay, so here's the bandit camp again, and I just want to see if anyone's back. Oh yeah, there's someone over there. Yeah, they're all back. Okay. That was pretty quick of a respawn. Like, I think it's only been maybe two, three in-game days. Okay. So I was kind of thinking of like maybe checking some of the back area, see if like maybe they did have a hostage and I just missed it somehow. But never mind. I think I might check out this house. I'm just a little worried because it is pretty close to the bandit camp. And I kind of wonder if maybe I make too much noise, they might come over here. And there are some infected too. Another fishing upgrade. Or fish bucket upgrade, I guess. I should really look into that. I don't know where that is, actually. Yeah, I'm not noticing it anywhere in our inventory, so I'm just going to ignore that for now. Oh my god. Okay, that guy scared me. I did not think he would actually come outside. Jeez. Oh yeah, of course, it's because the front door is like wide open. I do not want to get into like any shooting right now. Just because of how little ammo I have. So I'm going to try to avoid conflict if I can. I also totally forgot to make like a locker for my truck. I made another one for the house, but I did not make one here. Because we're going to run out of inventory really quickly. So maybe I could find some materials on the way or something. Okay, but we should be past the bandit camp now. Let me just double check the map. I do kind of have to go the other way. Eh, I might as well check out what's over on this side. I don't think I've checked out too much of this area. It looks like some regular houses over here. Then you got like that skyscraper over there. Uh, let me pop by these houses and see what they have. Again, I just really need more ammo. Yeah, I definitely hear infected, unfortunately. I should have brought like a spear or something. Just to get a little bit more range. Because right now I'm kind of just stuck like outside. Oh, I guess this machete wouldn't be too bad actually. Let's try that out. First, I'll check over here. I just saw this bucket again. So again, another upgrade. And then let's see if we could bait one of these guys out. How many are there? Oh, there's like at least two. Hopefully I can hit him without him hitting me. Ah, he got a good hit. Dang it. Two? Oh my god, I'm like not hitting him at all. Okay, so like a quarter of our health. I'm assuming that SWAT helmet protected us. Okay, let's get the other guy. It's on the floor. Come on. Is he not coming out? 
Okay, so it seems like I'm better just being aggressive. Because when I back off, that's when they hit me. Still sounds like there's one more. Uh, let me go to the other side and see if I can lure him out. He still got one hit in. And I think the house should be clear. Not hearing anymore. Okay, let's look for ammo. And yeah, our health actually got kind of low there. Okay, nothing too great in the kitchen. What about the restroom? Oh, come on. I want to get the bottom cabinet. Okay, there's nothing there. Okay, three 9 mil shots. Not bad. Okay, two more revolver shots. Not bad. And four shotgun shells. Nice. What about the bedroom? Tomato sauce. Matches. I guess I'll take them. I think the ones I had back there were kind of going bad. Ooh, okay, perfect. Rifle ammo. And I'll leave the other stuff, I guess. Ooh, three more shots. Nice. Okay, let me switch out the axe with the M4. And let's reload that. Just to clear out inventory space. Okay, there's a lot of scraps and components. So I think I'll try to pick those up and see if we can make a locker really quick. I think I just need one more, yeah. And then I should just be able to chop down a tree and get the planks. Still pretty early, 8 o'clock, so not too bad. Alright, let's go ahead and make the wood. It'll take 40 minutes. And then let's go ahead and make the locker. Okay, cool. Let's get this onto the truck. Alright, let's place this there. Uh, Maybe a little bit more down there. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, because now we could just store a lot of stuff there. Yeah, that's going to free a lot of inventory space up. Okay, and I did see a church over here. Let's see what's around here. Okay, I'm noticing like an outpost. Oh, it's another bandit camp. Okay, dang. Oh, crap. Okay, someone's shooting. I don't know where, though. Okay, let me get out of here. Let me go to that house over there. So I do have a bit of ammo now. I feel like I could maybe take him on. I just would have to get, like, a better approach on them. Although my health is pretty low, actually. That might not be the best idea, then. Okay, I'm not hearing anyone here. Okay, more rifle ammo. Perfect. Uh, hunting rifle ammo. I'll take it just to hold on to. Yep, yep. Oh, that's great, actually. I kind of wonder what happens to the bandits during the mist events. Do they, like, fight with the infected? Okay, so what I might do is kind of rest up in here for a couple hours, see if we get our health back. And then we might try taking on that bandit camp. Let me... Let me rest for like three hours. Let's see how much our health gets back up. Okay, a little bit over half. I might be cutting it kind of close though. Because again, I haven't been shot by them. At least not directly hit. So I don't know where they saw me. Unless there's someone on like that post right there. I would love to have like a sniper rifle or something with a scope. Just to get a better view. Yeah, let's just slowly approach from this hill. I think there were some cars over here that might give us some cover. We just really got to keep an eye out. Yeah, there's someone right there. Maybe he saw me. Oh, 
Unless they have a sniper somewhere. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like there's anyone on that post up there. Okay, I'm, uh, I gotta go for it. He saw me. Okay, one's down. Can I get this guy? Oh my god. Okay, he definitely hit me. Oh, I'm down. Crud, okay. Ah, oh, I lost the rifle and like most of my stuff on me. Okay. Dang, and my truck's all the way over there. It said my camp can be raided, but I don't think they did. Okay, well, I guess I got to make my way all the way back there. I kind of wonder, is my stuff just permanently gone? Or is it like on my body over there or there's going to be a backpack or something? How's my equipment? Yeah, so that definitely took some damage. I really need to find some like vest armor and maybe a jacket just for a little bit more protection because it did seem like I killed that second bandit and then I think the third guy behind him got me. Okay, I made it back to the truck. Let me get my hunger back up and then I don't know if I should try again. I mean, I took like two of them down so there can't be too many left, right? Plus my health is actually doing better than last time. Let me check my status. Yeah, I don't have any, like, injuries or anything. Yeah, I think I might just go for it again. Gotta be extra careful, though. Not seeing anyone right now. But we'll see as we approach. Okay, that guy's still there. Yeah, I definitely took down the second guy, so it was the third guy who got me. I don't know where they are right now, though. No one's up there. No one's on the other tower. He's probably walking around somewhere around here. Let me just check this left side to make sure I don't get, like, flanked. Yeah, because no one's on the tower there. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anyone outside. So I'm guessing he might be inside. Yeah, because no one's over here, like, patrolling, as far as I can tell. Oh, yeah, some of my stuff is here. Kind of, like, exploded into the air, apparently. Okay, I'll look for that stuff after. Because maybe I could get my M4 back. Because he has to be either inside the church. Or maybe around back. Let me look inside I guess. Oh this is a backpack upgrade. I'm just worried they're going to start shooting, like, through the windows. Okay, let me grab that, because that's super useful. Anything over here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, there's someone here. Heck yeah, okay. Nice, okay, so I rescued a survivor. Okay, I totally did not expect that. Okay, and I think it said she's back at the camp. Alright, let's check what's in this room. Oh my god, this is like where all their loot is. Mounting part, high quality metals, explosive arrows. Yeah, this is all the good stuff over here. Fishing rod, longbow. Let me try that out. Oh, I think I need a quiver. I feel like that makes sense. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, because I can't load arrows into it. 
Oh, they got lockers. Oh my god, they got all the good stuff here. M4A1. Ammo. Even more grenades. Okay, what about this locker? Dang, they got so much good stuff here. Oh, vest armor. Heck yeah. Let me put that on right away. I think I might leave one of these parts or... Hmm. Okay, let me see what type of ammo this takes. Okay, I have nine bullets, but from what? Oh, it's just the M4. Okay. I was wondering if that was like the 50 cal ammo, but it seems like that's something different. I guess I'll take the other one too, just to have a backup. And then, yeah, I think... I don't know if we should get out of here or keep looking. Because there has to be at least that one guy left. I just don't know where. Because I would much prefer to clear out the area and then bring the truck in. Because I would really hate to die and lose this good equipment. Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone. Unless maybe the third guy just like ran off. I don't know if it works like that in the game. Okay, yeah, let's go back to the truck and drop off some more stuff. Because it does look like it's empty. And I'd rather get as much good stuff as possible before they respawn. Because now that I found that, like, locker room, I'm kind of wondering if I missed out on some stuff on the old camp, you know? Okay, this is full now, so... Seven slots left. And it's also going to start getting a little bit dark soon, too. Let's see what else we can find. Oh yeah, my stuff's like in this tree somehow. Okay, there's my M4. Okay, so it does look like when you die, you just kind of like drop all your stuff. Or some of your stuff, I guess. Okay, so I haven't looted the guy's body. Ah, oh, I think it despawned. Yeah, I think I took way too long. Okay. Oh. That was on accident. Yeah, if anyone's still here, they definitely heard that. There is a car engine here. Might be worth having a, a backup. How heavy is that? Yeah, I can't run. Okay, I'm going to leave that. And yeah, I guess that kind of does it for the camp. Unfortunately, I didn't loot their bodies, but... I guess it's okay. We did find your survivor, so I think that's the best part of it. So yeah, let's head back and check out what we do about the survivor. Because I think in the building menu, there's something like a... Um, I forget what it's called, like a healing station or something? And it says it's for survivors, so I don't know if they're injured and then we have to heal them up first or how that works, but we'll check it out. Okay, here we are. Let's see what we do now. Because where are they? Maybe at the bed? I feel like that would make sense. Just trying to like... Oh no! What the heck? They're just back over here. Rachel. Oh. Let's go ahead and greet her. Okay, she's saying our food won't be enough. Okay, so we could do like a quest. If we give her an apple, we'll get a compass. Oh, okay, what the heck? So we could give them like weapons, stuff like that, I guess. Interesting. Let's give her a beef can or two. I don't know. Let's see, let's give her a pistol. And then I think I have some nine mil ammo back here. Ah, it's only like three shots, okay. And then I guess we'll give her the machete. Just as a melee weapon. Let's put that there. And then... Let me load up the 9 mil Because I don't know how it works with like inventory and everything. And then we'll put this there. Yeah. Dang, and we gotta find our clothes too. I'm really hoping they don't like die. And if they get hurt, it's just like, they just need to be healed. Because 
Where is it? A bed for the survivors somewhere. Yeah, a healing station. So I'm guessing if they get hurt, they have to specifically rest on this thing. So maybe it'd be good looking into that. I think that looks pretty good. I think a little bit of privacy there. Okay, then skip her this shirt, I guess. Uh, what happened to the shirt? Oh, it just went to the ground. What the heck's going on here? Up. Or not. How does this work? Okay, it just goes in the inventory. Maybe they'll self-equip it. And then I kind of wonder how I get her to do stuff. Because I kind of assumed they would also, like, I don't know, top trees. Or if you do some sort of building, you could automate it. But maybe it depends on the survivor. And each one does something different. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, well either way, I think I'm going to need more storage. Just because all the loot we got. And then I'm guessing I have to make another bed. I'm assuming this is only for when they get hurt. I kind of want to make one of these large security lockers. It says it's a large container, so hopefully it could hold more items. I think we have most of the stuff. If not, I think we could build it. So I think the one thing I might be sure is the gear. Oh wait, no, it's right here, okay. Eight components, eight scraps, and four planks. Let's see. I think I might be short on the scraps, because I think I turned them into an ingot. Yeah. Yeah, I think I only have like five, so I definitely have to get more of that. And then I'm not sure... If she has her own food, or I have to like, do all the stuff. Okay, I'll take one beef can back, and we'll see what happens with that stuff. It's getting dark, so let's go ahead and sleep through the night and start collecting materials tomorrow. I'm not even sure if she can actually get up here. Just because uh, this whole thing over here, where it's a little glitchy. But, yeah, we'll figure that out. Okay, it's 2 in the morning, but I just kind of want to see where she is. Because I don't know if she just like falls asleep on the floor. Oh no. Okay. She's still just wandering around. Interesting. So maybe she doesn't sleep. I don't know how that works. Okay. Let's wait out a couple more hours just until it's morning. Or maybe she just can't get up here. That, that could be a thing too. Okay. Now that it's morning, I think I'm going to head to that junkyard that's kind of on the way to the first banding camp we saw. Oh my god, got way too much air there. Okay, I have to be conscious of the speed of this thing. But yeah, I think I haven't looted that junkyard, so hopefully there's lots of scrap there. Because right now I kind of just want to focus on storage, and then maybe making another bed. Alright, let's see what's around here. I also want to find stuff for the clay pot. Or one of these pots, I guess. I think I just need the soil sack, right? Yeah, so I need rags. Okay. So rags and scrap is pretty much what I'm here for. And perfect. Yeah, I got like three rags right there. And I think I'm okay on components. We'll see how much inventory space we have after. Okay, let me switch out this combat knife I just found. And yeah, finding lots of scrap here. Yeah, I already have 11. So that's really good. And then let's see if there's infected in here. It looks like it's clear, actually. Nice. What do we have here? Okay, some more rags. Let's check around the outside first. And then we'll head into the little office. Because that looks like where all the good stuff is going to be at. Okay, we got some ammo, a beef can. I'll take that. And anything down here? Oh, I see some ammo. Rifle ammo, okay. And unfortunately, nothing in the lockers. Okay, let me eat this can just to clear up some inventory space. And then I guess I'll take the ammo. I think it was just like one bullet of each, so... Eh, it's okay. And I do have a bit of space, so I guess I'll pick up components. I think I'll take the sewing kit. I forget if we have some at home. 
Okay, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything there. Pretty good haul. Oh yeah, I already had like eight components here too. Jeez. Okay, so doing really good on that. Should have enough rags and stuff too. Let's see if this has any gas in it. Okay, 1.51 liters. Uh, sure, we'll fill it up. Why not? And yeah, most of our components are looking good too. Just the spark plugs. So might want to look into that soon. But I think for now we'll head back and start crafting some of those lockers that we need. Okay, let's go ahead and build that large locker. Uh, I think this sways forward. And where do I want it? Maybe like right here? Next to the workbench? Yeah, that'll have to do. Okay, it's going to take one hour. Oh, I just heard another car crash. Let's mark that in the map and check it out. Okay, so for once it's actually in a different location. It's by one of those little cabins. Let's go see. I wonder if the response is going to change now that we have like a survivor with us. But if not, we do have a lot of good stuff, so if we have something worthwhile, we can totally trade for it. Because they should be like right over here. Yeah, there they are. Alright, let's help them out. Yep. What the heck is that? Okay, so you didn't have anything to trade, I think. Dog vest, okay. I have seen that there is a dog you can get. Oh man, and he has actually quite a lot of stuff back here. And I think Rachel wanted those apples. I didn't even see how big the inventory of that locker was. So let's go check that out. Okay, so this one has five by four, so 20 slots. And this one's five by three, so 15. Okay, so five extra slots, not bad. And it does say it's like better security. Is that what it said? Yeah, so it could prevent thieving. So I guess whenever we die, it has a lower chance of stuff being stolen from it, I guess. Okay, so I think we're going to designate this as like metal scraps and stuff like that. And then let's see about another bed. Kind of debating putting it here. Maybe something like that. Or I don't, I still don't know if that's even necessary. Eh, might as well build it. We have the time and all the resources for it. And then I guess we'll do this too. Just in case they get hurt. Okay, cool. So this is done. Oh, uh, I think I did put it the wrong way. Uh, or maybe I bugged it out. I don't know. Yeah, I should have put it, like, facing the other direction. Because I guess if they get hurt, I just put them here. And then I would check this and give them whatever they need. Okay, well, that seems to be permanently stuck there. <laughs> I mean, it says I could cancel it. Oh, no, I can move it. Okay. It was just, I guess, bugging out. Oh, never mind. I don't know. Not really sure what's going on here. I'm clicking M and nothing's happening. I can move the bed. But not this. Maybe if I do it from over here. No. Okay. Yeah, I put it in like the worst position with like no room to walk by. Okay. Let's see about that soil sack. So I just need three more rags, which I should have over here. Or did I use them all making that? I think I might have. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go to like one of those houses up there and hopefully find him. Okay. So I just went to that little town. Got all the components. So we should be able to make this. Yep. And then let's see about one of those pots. 
It says it's used for packing soil, but I'm not sure how to fill it with soil. Maybe if I go towards the ground with like a shovel. Let me see. Is that how this works, maybe? Oh, okay, there we go. I was just like, I guess in the wrong spot. Okay, so we have two kilograms. Okay. Let's get inside and build that. And maybe we can start planning something. Okay, actually, I think I might do it out here. Just because it seems like it's saying it can't be moved. It says a garden table can be moved, but this one might not be able to, too. Um, uh, I guess we'll put it right next to that thing. I just noticed she has the gun at her foot. Like, what? How's that work? Okay. Oh, I can't- whoa, okay. That was, uh, kind of weird. Okay, how do we plant in it? I don't think I have a potato or anything again. Yeah, I still don't have anything plantable. Checked all the lockers and there's nothing. Okay, let me just continue to move all this stuff inside. Even this locker is kind of getting full already. And I'm guessing this one's going to be like our equipment, I guess. You know, I should make a quiver. We do have that bow and the explosive arrow. So that might be worth checking out. Yeah, because it's only like eight rags. Or better yet, I think I can make the leather one. Yeah, I have leather here. Sewing kits here. And I think that's everything. Yeah, let's make that. Oh, and I can assign stuff to her. Okay. Okay, let me put her to do it. Does that mean she just kind of comes over here and starts working on it? Or what's going on? Okay, let's just leave that for a bit. Let me see about maybe making another locker or two. At least of like those regular ones. Yeah, because I'm pretty much out of locker space again. Well, I'm not out of locker space, but I'd rather keep it kind of organized. Okay, I actually think she's stuck. But she's not moving at all. Let me convert these logs to planks and let's see if she's moved or not. Because it does look like she glitched out on that like little dirt mound I had. Yeah, because this still isn't being worked on. And she has not moved from that spot. And I don't think I can move that mound. So... Yeah, I don't know. She might permanently be stuck there. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and made two more lockers. So this one's just like guns and ammo. And I haven't decided what that one's for yet. But it's looking pretty good. This one's almost full of like metal stuff, so... Yeah, just kind of always need more and more storage, really. Okay, let's check up on Rachel. And of course, she's still stuck there. I'm kind of hoping that, like, maybe when I exit the game, it kind of fixes itself. Let me cancel this, I guess. And then I guess I'll just build it myself. <gasps> Wait. What happened to all the equipment? Did I just lose leather? And the... Yeah, I think I just lost five leather and two of the sewing kits doing that. It didn't bug through the wall, did it? No. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, this is not going well. Did it maybe go to her, her inventory? No. Dang, okay. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to have to make a drying rack now. Just to make some more leather. So let me do that. I need, like, one more nail. Yeah, so I don't even have enough scrap metal to finish that. And then I kind of want to go with my original plan of checking out that, like, what was it, construction site? And the old factory area. So let's go ahead over there, especially since it's still pretty early in the day. And I'm still just kind of hoping that maybe if I get far enough away, she'll kind of, like, respawn or something. 
Okay, I just passed that bandit camp over there. And there seems to be a tunnel or something, but it does look kind of barricaded. Let me get out and check the map really quick. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, I should have taken a left. But I'm kind of curious what's over there. I'm assuming it's another bandit hideout. Let me approach just a little and let me see if I see anyone. I mean, I'm not seeing anyone right now. But we'll save that for another day. Let me head over that way. Okay, so this is like a big empty area. I'm assuming this is maybe the old factory. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But it does look like there's the construction area. So there might be something there to check out. Kind of feel like this might be another bandit camp. Like, I feel that would make sense, right? Like, it's an actual building. They could easily fortify it. Let me stay towards, like, the perimeter of it. Just in case they start shooting, I could get out of here pretty quickly. Not seeing anyone. I'm not really seeing a clear way in. Oh, maybe over here. Uh, do I get out and check it out? Kind of risky. I have 11 shots here. And 22 on the revolver. Not seeing any movement. But I'll stay low just to be safe. Because I don't know. Someone could be like sniping from up there or something. There is stuff spawning here. So it does look like this area is actually implemented in the game. Or maybe not. This looks kind of um glitched out a bit. Concrete, components. I mean, I feel like it does make sense to find a lot of concrete here, considering it is a construction site. But yeah, no signs of life yet, which is kind of good. And it does look like maybe we could head down. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Kind of worried about, like, glitching out over there or something. But it does look like there's a whole way over there, maybe? No, that's like a dead end. Okay. Let's just continue around here. And yeah, if there's no bad guys here, there's nothing stopping me from coming back and, you know, just loading all this onto the truck. Do I want to go into the actual building? Okay, let's go ahead and head up. So I don't know if we'll really find anything in these, like, floors down here. And plus, it's kind of dark down here, so... I don't know, maybe infected might spawn. This would have been great to have my shotgun with me. This is like really close quarters combat. Okay, let's just make our way to the top and see what's there. Because again, it is work in progress, so... I'm assuming they haven't implemented whatever they really wanted to. It's just kind of like a placeholder for right now. But it's still cool to explore, so there's that. Oh, yeah, so even the top's not really finished. I 
I wonder if we can make our way up that crane. There's like a door right there. I mean, that'd be pretty cool if we went up there and found like a sniper. Okay, I just got to be really careful. Because again, I don't know... It's one of those things where, you know, I'm going to step on somewhere. It's not actually, like, rendered. And I just, like, fall through and die. Yeah, there wasn't anything up there. So let's head back down. And let's head to that crane. But yeah, if I need some men, I'll definitely come back here. Because there's, like, bags everywhere. And I think they're only used for, like, that garage thing, right? Yeah takes 30 bags and you need a blueprint which I'm wondering if you would find that here can I use this elevator oh okay no okay that'd be pretty cool if I could and it doesn't seem like I could get in there no it's like blocked off okay well I mean that was worth checking out at least just to see what's there I wonder what they have planned for it Maybe some sort of like boss fight or like larger bandit camp. I feel like that would make the most sense. And there's still that tunnel we can check out, but I think I might want to come back with like a shotgun. Just because, again, it's kind of like more of a enclosed area. Oh my god. I drive way too fast in this thing sometimes. Nope, she's still stuck in that same spot. Okay, well, I got enough scraps to make the nails I needed, so let's finish that rack. And hopefully we can make enough leather. Okay, so I got the animal hide. I'm assuming I just leave it there and it takes like a couple days to dry out or something. Yeah, it's very slowly going up. Okay, so that's going to be a while. Okay, and I think I'll leave it there. Hopefully next time we can figure out how to get her out of that. Because it'd be really useful to have her doing stuff while I do something else. And then yeah, maybe we'll check out that tunnel or something next time. So yeah, see ya. Thanks for watching. Bye.